want to show you what is going to be a troubling morning for many commuters. I-75 is shut down in both directions near Vine Street after a tanker truck with hazardous material exploded. WLWT News 5's Andrew Setters has been leading the way all morning at the scene with the breaking details. And Andrew, we all know this will be a big problem if it lingers. What's the latest? Well, Kyla, it is going to linger. We just got an update from St. Bernard Police about this accident scene that's just behind us here on the overpass over Vine Street on I-75. They're anticipating it could be as late as 9 o'clock this morning before the interstate fully reopens. A tanker truck heading south hit the dividing wall between the express lanes and the local lanes on 75 through the construction zone. That set off a fire in the truck and concerns about the material that tanker was hauling. Cars on the interstate. Stuck in the traffic backup were evacuated temporarily. The tanker overturned. The truck was carrying about 5,000 gallons in that tanker. There were worries about a leak because the material can be harmful to marine life if it gets into the water. Luckily, the tanker did not leak, and they are left with a situation they are still dealing with now. What they have been doing, they are working to pump the tanker, uh, empty it out into another tanker truck. That way, they can get the wrecked tanker back upright and pulled out of the way. That's what they have to do in order to get uh, things reopened. They also have to kind of readjust some of those temporary barriers on the interstate there that got knocked out of the way during the accident. So this is a long, ongoing process. And again, it could be several hours more before I-75 is reopened.